Cesare, the tall guy, Bonventre, January 1, 1951, April 1984, was a Sicilian mobster and copper regime for the New York City Bonanno crime family. Biography Early life born in Castellamare del Golfo, Sicily, Bonventre was a member of the Sicilian Mafia. During the 1960s, the New York crime families imported young Sicilian men from Sicily to the United States to work as drug traffickers and hit men. American mobsters soon derisively dubbed the Sicilians Zips due to their fast speech. Bonanno boss Carmine Galanti brought Bonventre to New York to be his bodyguard. Bonventre soon became the unofficial underboss of the Bonanno family Sicilians. Bonventre's uncle was John Bonventre, a former Bonanno underboss. Bonventre was also a cousin of the first family boss Joseph Bonanno and Bonanno mobster Baldessare Baldo Amato. In 1979, Cesare and Baldessare were arrested for carrying illegal firearms in their car after being stopped by police at the Green Acres Mall in Valley Stream, New York, shortly before the execution of Carmine Galanti. In April 1981, they were convicted and served two months. Ralph Blumenthal wrote in Last Days of the Sicilians, the FBI's war against the Mafia that Cesare identified himself to law enforcement as a pizza man from Brooklyn. He was a regular habituate of his cousin Baldessare Amato's deli run by his family located at 2nd Avenue and 84th Street in Yorkville, New York. The deli had burned down not long before January 1984 but in its place the Amato family built an apartment building with a sleek Italian cafe and restaurant called Biffy. Bonventre's moniker was the tall guy because he stood close to 6 feet 7 inches tall. Lean and handsome. Bonventre frequented clubs such as the Toyland Social Club and the Knickerbocker Avenue area with other Sicilian mobsters. In the book King of the Godfathers, Anthony M. De Stefano writes that there was something about Bonventre that made him stand out from the other ethnic Italians. His stylish clothing, aviator sunglasses and European man purses embodied Italian couture. Bonventre normally wore his shirt unbuttoned with a gold crucifix hanging from his neck. Galanti assassination Galanti was allegedly murdered for not sharing his drug trafficking profits with the family. The hit on Galanti required Philip Rosti Rastelli to get approval from the Zips, Gambino crime family boss Paul Castellano and the other commission bosses. It was later rumored that the Mafia Commission, which oversees all the crime families, had sanctioned Galanti's murder and arranged for Bonventre and Baldo, Galanti's bodyguards to betray him. On July 12, 1979, Bonventre allegedly participated in the murders of Galanti and two of his friends. He had been dropped off for lunch at Joe and Mary's, an Italian restaurant in the Bushwick section of Brooklyn. After a short while, bodyguards Bonventre and Baldo Amato joined Galanti. Although it was a hot summer day and they were dining on the patio, both Bonventre and Amato wore leather jackets, presumably to protect themselves from stray bullets and debris. Suddenly, three men in ski masks appeared on the patio and opened fire on Galanti. Bonventre and Amato allegedly joined in the attack, then disappeared from the scene after the three hit men. Galanti and his two lunch companions died. A week after the Galanti murders, Bonventre was arrested by federal agents, but he was soon released and was never charged with a crime. Capo Philip Rosti Rastelli succeeded Galanti as boss of the family, even though he was incarcerated at the time and Joseph Mazzino became underboss. Although some believed Mazzino was the real power in the family. After Galanti's death, Bonventre was promoted from soldier to capo and joined Salvatore Catalano's Brooklyn crew. At 28, Bonventre became the youngest capo in Bonanno family history. Bonventre became involved in the importation and drug trafficking of heroin from Sicily into New York pizza parlors, known as the Pizza Connection. Bonventre had been on the side of the three capos Alphonse, Sunny Red and Delicato. Philip Giacconi and Dominic Trencara, a family faction who were planning a coup to take over the family. However, Bonventre switched sides, 
joining Rastella's faction. If Bonventre and the Zips had stayed loyal to Indelicado, he would have probably taken over the Bonanno family. The ascension of Rastelli as boss triggered a period of discontent and rivalry in the Bonanno family. As a result, Rastelli and Monsino started purging their opponents in the family. In 1984, Monsino decided to eliminate Bonventre. Bonventre's pedigree Increasing wealth and fearsome reputation had made him into a threat to Massino's leadership. Bonventre controlled the Sicilians, the meanest killers in the family. Bonventre himself was prone to outbursts of sadistic violence and was suspected of over 20 murders. Massino warned, He's a very sharp guy. You have to be careful. Death in April 1984, Bonanno mobster Salvatore Vitali and Louis Atanasio picked up Bonventre to bring him to a meeting with Rastelli at a glue factory in Wallington, New Jersey. As Vitali drove the car into the factory, Atanasio shot Bonventre twice in the head. Surprisingly, Bonventre still struggled, grabbing the steering wheel and trying to crash the car, forcing the two hitmen to fight him off. As Vitali steered into the garage, Bonventre crawled out of the car. Louis Atanasio then killed him on the garage floor with two more shots. Bonventre's body was hacked to pieces and dumped into three 55-gallon glue drums. The killers then moved the drums to the fourth-floor offices of a trading company in Garfield, New Jersey. On April 9, 1984, Unaware that Bonventre was dead, a federal grand jury indicted him and 12 other men on charges of distributing narcotics through the pizza restaurants. The so-called Pizza Connection case. On April 16, 1984, the remains were discovered in a warehouse in Garfield, New Jersey, stuffed into two 55-gallon glue drums. Bonventre is buried at St. Charles Cemetery in Farmingdale, New York. Bonventre's widow gave birth to their only son after the murder. After math soon after the murder, a government informant later claimed that one of Bonventre's killers was Bonanno mobster Cosimo Aiello. However, in October 1984, Aiello was shot to death in the parking lot of a Clifton, New Jersey restaurant. In January 2004, nearly 20 years after the Bonventre murder, Federal authorities arrested Louis Atanasio, Peter Calabrese and Louis' brother, Robert Atanasio. Now a government witness, Vitali testified against them. On September 20, 2006, after being convicted of murder, Louis Atanasio and Calabrese were sentenced to 15 years imprisonment. Robert Atanasio, who had cleaned up the murder car, received 10 years imprisonment. References Further reading Pistoni, Joseph D., and Brent, Charles, 2007. Donnie Brasco, Unfinished Business, Running Press. ISBN 0-7624-2707-8. Pistoni, Joseph D., and Woodley, Richard, 1999. Donnie Brasco, My Undercover Life in the Mafia. Hodder and Stoughton. ISBN 0-340-66637-4.